Hey, what's up everybody? It's Kubo. Welcome to another episode of the Let's Play Risen. So we have three quests to do today, and the first one we're gonna do is called Woman Beater. So let's head over to the brothel and deal with the woman beater. This is the brothel. So we get the quest from the lady that's in here in the bath. Gwen. Just leave me alone. I'm not even here, all right? What's the matter? It's that drunken pig, Ericsson. He sits on that bench all day, eyeing me up, licking his lips, making his hand gestures. It's so creepy. And then I find out he paid Madame Sonia for me. I refused to go with him, and he beat me, bastard. I'll take care of him. Really? You do that? I'd give the last of my savings to someone who'd make sure he never goes near Madame Sonia's again. Be careful. He's a vindictive bastard. Thanks for the warning. Is Ericsson one of the Don's men? Ha! <laughs> the Don's men are gentlemen compared to him. He comes right out of the town cesspit. Then I'll make sure I stay upwind of him. All right, we got the quest now. Let's do a quick save, about to start a fight. I'm gonna try to actually pickpocket his weapon off of him and see if that works. What's your problem? I'm just getting to know Harbor Town. Tell someone who gives a shit. Now fuck off and stop snooping. I hear Romanov won't let you sail with him again. What do you know? I'm one of Romanov's best men. He sails, I sail. Okay, so I just stole his sledgehammer. But it looks looks like he's still has something on his back. You're gonna tell me what I need to know. Come on, let's get this done. Okay, so fighting in this little room is like awkward, so I'm actually just gonna move outside. Yeah, he's just got a stick now. Is he gonna hit that swing with it? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Does he not even attack? That's funny. Ah! Ah! Oh, he attacked. Ah! Ah! They're insane. Yeah. They're insane. Ah. All right, and he should have a key on him. It's Jack key. So we'll take that key off of him. So he's dealt with, we'll come talk to him in a second. So let's go turn the quest in. Ericsson got what he deserved. Yeah, I saw you gave him quite the beating. Glad in my heart it did, but it ain't enough. In a few days I'll be back on that bench again. Staring, licking, gesturing. Okay, we gotta go get rid of him. Let's talk to him. All right. What do you want? Tell me about the key you had on you. If I tell you who that belongs to, I'd be digging my own grave. Now leave me alone. I've got a message for you. Leave now if you know what's good for you. And if you even look at the girls here again, you'll regret it. Poor lover, are you? Or save your effort. I was gonna go anyway. Stay here long enough, you'll catch the pox. Then maybe you already have. Alright, so we got here to him. Now I should be able to turn it in. I don't think Ericsson will show his face here again. That's a relief and a half, I tell you. You're a good man. Here's that gold I promised. Don't worry. I'll earn it back soon enough. I've got a few specialist tricks. Take care of yourself, alright? Thanks. You too. Okay, so we got some gold. And also, 
Sonya here will be very happy that he's gone too. Good job, sweetie. That bastard Ericsson had it coming. That drunk Ericsson has taken off. That's a way off my mind and no mistake. I think that warrants a reward. Alright, so we just got a reward. So, as you notice, we looted a key off of his body. So let's uh, go open that. There's a shack over here by the hotel. And the key lets us get inside and we can loot a chest in there. Okay, so this is this little room right here. So we used the key there and got in. And this chest. Let's put some loot in there. Interesting uh four skin, a stove. Cool. So we picked up a, let's see, a document. So we picked this up in the chest. And it looks like some sort of a treasure map. It says, early bird catches the worm. So that might be some hint towards early in the morning. And it says towards north, northeast by east. The old grave will know. So yeah, I don't really know how that works. <laughs> Maybe we'll figure that out later. Okay, so let's uh, work on our next quest. Gotta distribute a bunch of potions. So it's a pretty easy one. So we just gotta talk to uh, Bershwer. May the holy flame light your way, stranger. Are you looking for a spot of warm fire or some stew to solve your hunger? I could use some stew. Here, may it grant you strength. Thank you. You're a mage. I am that. I am Master Belshaw, a guardian of the Holy Flame, ordained into the Convocation of Mages. What is it you do in the town? I help those who are unable to help themselves. For now, that means providing food, shelter, other necessities. Why don't you help me? What can I do for you? Help me to care for the people. There are those who are sick and injured. They are in need of healing potions. What is the holy flame? In the monastery at the foot of the volcano, there's a holy place. It's one of the last true treasures of this world. The hall of the holy flame. It's the source of our power, a well of magic. We must do all we can to protect it from the looming danger. What can you do with magic? It has many uses. There are spells which harm and spells which heal, and those that light your path in the darkness. With no study at all, you could cast from a scroll. Those scrolls can be used but once, whereas an artifact with magic bound into it can last an age. But to create such items, or use magic without the need of them, for that you must become a mage. How can I become a mage? Hmm. You need a firm will and much patience to be chosen. As a mage, you would bear great responsibility. Are you fit for such a role? I don't know. A good answer. Quick to learn, quick to forget is what I say. Think then, and find your path. But dedication, not speed, is required for study. If you can show dedication to the Holy Flame, then I would see you as more fit for training. Right. I can distribute those healing potions for you. Good, good. Thank you. I have seven potions prepared. I will give you a list with the names of the needy here in the gutters. Consider the remaining potions payment for your work. Alright, we've got seven small healing potions. I'm gonna distribute them. So he gave us a list here. Oops. This one. Elias Colpin, Josh Martha. First fellow should be right here is Cole. After somewhere peaceful. I'm Cole, by the way. Is this a place of prayer? This is the Shrine of the Holy Flame, a 
place of calm in a violent, lawless world. And you're here to pray? Yes. I pray that this will all be over and I can go back to being a hunter. Tell me about the flame. I'm a hunter. I don't know much about holy things. Just tell me what you know. It's... The flame protects us. All of us. Understand? It protects the whole island. It's where the mages get their magic. They say while it burns, there is hope that the storms don't come to this island because of it. Whatever it is, the flame protects us. Here is a healing potion for you, with greetings from Belshaw. Ah, thank you. The Order does try to provide for us. It's sometimes easy to forget that. You're a hunter? I am. Well, I was. What happened? Since the temples rose, no one's allowed outside the town because of the creatures. I was lucky the Inquisition didn't take me to the monastery. And what happened to your bow? I pawned it to Costa. Fed me for a week. And to think I could provide for the whole town with it once. Now not even Flavio has work for me. All I have left is Master Belshaw's stew. And he can teach us how to hunt archery and whatnot. So it's just kind of cool to know. So we got one of them down. Next guy I think is Josh, and he should be just in this building here. A customer! Welcome! What can I get you? I have a healing potion for you from Master Belshaw. Thank you! Alright, well that was the easy one. Get through the store. <laughs> So we got Josh down. Our next fellow is this guy, I think. Yep, Finn. Hey. Hello, I'm Finn. You don't happen to have any work to offer? No, I don't. Drat. I've combed every corner of this place. This town is a mess. There are so many people here now, and they all want jobs. Even Flavio can't give me work. I have a healing potion for you, from Master Belshaw. Thank you. I can use this. Okay. Let me think who's next. I think this guy, Elias. Please, take a look around. Are you looking for anything special? A pan, cast iron, or a necklace? If you're hungry, we have potatoes. We grow them ourselves. Have a look at everything I offer. I'm supposed to give you this healing potion from Master Belshaw. Ah, thank you. Refugees stick together, eh? Okay, so give him his potion. I think this is the last guy right here. Master Belshaw told me to bring you this potion. Thank you. Finally a chance for Martha. But healing potions alone won't be enough. I have to get my wife off the street. It's killing her. She needs somewhere to stay. Shelter. So here's another quest that we do that's basically part of this potion quest. So we can do this real quick very easily. I'll find a bed. Some shelter for your wife. If you could do that, it'd be wonderful. Please, do your best, please. Okay, so the farmer's sick wife, all we have to do is go talk to Costa, which is the guy in front of the hotel right here, and pay him 30, 30 gold. I need to find clean lodgings for a sick woman, a farmer's wife. What does that have to do with me? I'll pay for her bed. I'll pay for her bed. Well, that's a different matter. If there's coin in it, then come one, come all. How generous of you. Okay, so we've just paid for the bed, so let's go talk to them. They should be pretty happy about that. Good news. I've arranged for your wife to stay at Costa's. Really? Thank you. Thank you. No one has ever done anything for us before. You're a good man and should be rewarded. We don't have much, but we have to give you something. Can I help you? Are you a healer? 
My wife is so sick, I fear the worst. What's wrong with her? She's feverish. I blame these cursed bloody ruins. Why? How did they make her ill? They came out of the ground right next to my damn farm. Next day, Martha caught this fever, and she's got sicker since then. I don't know what to do. Her only hope is Master Belshaw. Don't bother me with this. <laughs> so here's Martha. I would talk to her. Thank you, stranger. Perhaps the darkness will spare you. What is this darkness you're talking about? The darkness that will eat the world. Perhaps it is better to die now. Take this. May it bring you comfort. Alright, so she gave us a cooking recipe. Which is meat stew. So we need onions and potatoes. Which I think this merchant actually might sell right here. Let me see. So. Okay, so here's some onions and potatoes. How much do they cost? A little pricey. So let's just buy two. Oh, okay. This is actually my first time buying. Do I have to actually put the gold in there? How do I do that? worst buy and sell interface I've ever seen in my life. So, can't click my gold. How much are these worth? trade my stuff I just want to use my my gold you should add 60 gold yes okay I guess that worked that was weird like I, I don't know why I didn't read that interface at the end there anyway sorry about that I just kind of had a, a stupid coupon moment <laughs> Okay, uh, I have this cooking recipe, why can't I? To the cauldron? So is it because it has to be a cauldron? Oh, I need a kettle and a ladle. Okay, this is getting a little bit too, too much time just to do a recipe, guys, I'm sorry. I wanted to show you that, but I probably should learn more about the game. <laughs> Just wanted to see if that recipe was worth the time. I don't I don't know where a cauldron is. Well this guy's got a cauldron right here. Maybe after I turn the quest and he'll stop. So okay, we'll tell him about Martha. Found lodgings for Martha, the farmer's wife. You are a good man. If only all the people in this town were as considerate. Here, I have something for you. May the holy flame light your way. Cool, we have two more potions. I've given healing potions to everyone on your list. Thank you, thank you. May the holy flame protect you. Perhaps you are suited to be a novice. In any case, you have my blessing. I will tell Carlos about your good work. He'll summon you when he has time. Carry out the tasks he charges you with. Convince him of your commitment, and he will take you to the monastery so you may study magic. He'll also provide you with a pass. Without his word, 
If you venture outside of the town walls, you'll be arrested by the warriors of the Order. I see. Is there anything else I can do for you? Not for the moment. Perhaps later. All right. No, can't click the cauldron. Oh well, I wanted to make that recipe. Maybe, maybe I'll figure it out later. <laughs> so, got three quests done. Uh, yeah, it's a good time, I think, to stop and start the, start up the next episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode.